Hey guys, Matt Dancho here. And today what I wanna do is just quickly go over this um, shiny app that I made uh, here earlier this week. And I've been getting a ton of questions on it about how I made it with ChatGPT because this is something that's like a very complicated app. It would normally take me probably three or four days to make something like this. Um, it's got three tabs up here and I'll kind of walk you through that here in a second. But I actually use ChatGPT to help me with this. And this is the full conversation that I had with ChatGPT in order to, to, to be able to build this app. So um, I'll kind of, my goal here with this video is just really to walk you down through that process, show you kind of what's, how to, how to really use ChatGPT in order to um, help you. And then also give you uh, some opportunities to meet with me for a workshop where I'll actually do some ChatGPT live and show you some of the mistakes and how to avoid mistakes. So um, this is the app that I made. Uh, it's pretty cool. It allows you to browse um, and upload a financial statement. So a financial statement looks something like this, where uh, we've got cash flow, we got income statements, we got balance sheets on different tabs, and um, you can upload that. And we've got it all in here. Um, and then once we have the uh, in, uh, information in here, we can do a financial forecast. So I can bump this up to like a six, run forecast. All right, there it goes. And then it makes this thing called a trelliscope where we can you know, pull up a grid and you know, inspect these things. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, and then once you get the grid, uh, you can actually download what's called the performa statements. So if um, we scroll across here, these are the next you know, fiscal years that are being forecasted out. So how did I make this? And what did I do in order to be able to, to, to do this? So um, if you've never used ChatGPT before, this is ChatGPT. And you know, I've got probably, I don't know, we'll say, <laughs> I've been coding in R for like 10 years, but um, uh, I probably got, I would say like a good five, six, seven years of uh, experience building shiny apps. I mean, I've done this for consultants, um, or actually I've, I built it as a consultant, and then I've taught you know data scientists how to build these things. Um, and it, you know, it really takes a long time to get up to speed, but that was before ChatGPT. So now we have an advantage, um, and I just kind of want to go through. So some one of the big mistakes that you're going to make, um, and I made this like when I first started using ChatGPT to build these app, web apps, is just going for like the final solution. So trying to build this thing right, right out of the gate, impossible. You will not be able to do that with ChatGPT. Uh, it's it takes a lot more understanding. Um, in order to be able to do that. So this is the full conversation. Um, I won't go through all of it, but what I wanna show you is like different parts where I'm asking it to do certain things in the app. So like, can I can a Trelliscope plot? So the Trelliscope, that's that's this thing right here. Can it be incorporated into a Shiny app? Yes, it can. You know, I and then it gives, gives me the response and then, you know, of course that didn't work. So for some reason it's not displaying and then I had to like figure that out. So, um, and then the next type of thing that I had a problem with, I, you know, can I, uh, you know, do some um, data manipulation? You know, how, how would I do that? Okay, can I do string padding? How would I do that? Uh, and this is just stuff, you know, that would take me, I don't have it memorized. Um, you know, I can figure it out through like Stack Overflow, but it just takes a long time. So I want to show you um, in this file folder here. This is easy, Z old. This is from um, the learning lab that I showed earlier where everyone, you know, was like shocked by this, the shiny web app. Um, this is the actual progression. Um, so, you know, I started off with like a much simpler app. So let me, uh, let me go to my viewer here, stop this. Uh, if I just run this app here, um, all this does is has upload Excel and on another page, you know, and I'm, and I'm asking, and I've asked ChatGPT how to like, upload an Excel file. Um, so it adds that, that information in, you know, I can't remember where I asked that here, but it's, it's somewhere in this kind of mess of stuff. Um, oh, please write the initial R shiny app code to ingest the Excel spreadsheet. That's right here. So it takes a lot of what I call guiding with prompts like that. So I had to guide, uh, with this prompt in order to be able to kind of create this, this initial scaffolding. And then I progressively at, you know, have different revisions of the shiny app until I get to the, basically the final solution, which is this rev seven. And then, you know, my shiny app final, which is what I presented during the learning lab. So, um, that's my goal. You know, I want to show you, you know, 
this is the actual process that I use and I'll, and um, I do have a workshop coming up next week. It's called chat GPT for data scientists. And what my goal in there is to actually show you live how I'm doing some of this stuff, um, especially for data science apps like that, that incorporate machine learning and building shiny web apps or whatever type of web app that you want to build, whether it's in Python streamlet or whatever, you know, I'll show, I'll show you my process using shiny. Um, and then you can kind of um, at least have a, a baseline to go off of. So definitely check that workshop out. Um, I will include that in the video notes. Uh, make sure to check it out. I'll see you there live. We'll probably have a thousand plus people on there and they're great because you can ask questions, you know, as we're going through um, and uh, you can get answers live, which is, which is a big benefit. You get access to me. So I will see you soon. Uh, that's it for this video and take care.